All righty, so we'll get started. Hi, uh, I'm Elizabeth from Wayne and Wendy, um, and I'm also one of the conference organizers. We're very excited about today's conversation, find, engage, and deliver talent five times faster. So I'd like to introduce Tom Steele, who's vice president at Zap Info, and he'll be giving today's talk. Um, please enjoy and make sure that uh, in the chat tab on the right-hand side, you're under sessions. You can ask Tom any questions you'd like. Um, I also posted the LinkedIn group link in there um, where we can keep the conversation going and we'll be posting content post-conference. Without further ado, here's Tom. Thank you, Elizabeth. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize my screen here so you guys can see my presentation. I think you guys should be able to maximize this on your side. And I'm glad you guys are all able to join. Uh, again, don't forget to ask questions away in the chat log. I'll keep an eye on it over here. I've got two monitors going. So if you see me looking this way, I'm looking at my other monitor. Um, and uh, I appreciate everybody uh, taking this time. I know I'm uh, one of the last sessions before uh, you guys get to go into the expo hall and have a uh, virtual happy hour with all of your uh, peers and talk to your favorite vendors, so I uh, appreciate that. But uh, as Elizabeth said, so I'm gonna talk today about finding, engaging, and delivering talent five times faster. Uh, if you don't know of Zap Info, we've been around for over five years. Uh, we're headquartered here in the Minneapolis area and uh, been doing, uh, uh, um, delivering and helping clients deliver talent from the web into their CRM and ATSs uh, for the last five years. And, uh, and the founders and, and what many of us at Zap Info came from a previous company called Jobs Web, which many of you probably were clients or, or were familiar with. And so uh, what we decided to do with Zap Info is we saw that there was just a hole in the market that a lot of people were uh, spending their days doing busy work. Uh, we know a lot of recruiters are very busy uh, and uh, to get data off the web into uh, a CRM or an ATS uh, can take a lot of time and effort. Uh, there's a lot of things you got to do as far as trying to search and find candidates. And then you got to collect their information. And if you're on LinkedIn, you probably don't have any of their personal information. So now you need to go find and search to see if we can find an email or a phone number. You got to, they're doing outreach to these folks. Uh, they're, they're looking at profiles or prepping profiles for hiring managers. There's just a lot of activities that happen that are very manual labor intensive. And so with Zap Info, what our goal is, is to automate a lot of this. And so throughout today's presentation, I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, and, um, and show you guys exactly what I mean uh, by automating this. Um, just a few customer success stories you can see here. There's three of them on the screen. Um, you know, the one thing that you're gonna see amongst the, the group here is how Zap Info saves them a lot of time. Um, it allows them to do things quicker, like build talent pipelines. And I've got to imagine a lot of you right now are probably actively hiring for a lot of positions. However, you're probably spending your time pipelining talent uh, or even better, refresh, hopefully you're in your database, is refreshing old talent with uh, and updating their profiles with the latest and greatest information that those candidates have posted out on the web. So getting those, those old databases refreshed uh, and as Dean says in the bottom one here, he just likes that we combine multiple tools into one. And so when we look at Zap Info, there's a lot of tools that recruiters and sources use. In fact, there's a lot of people out there that are tool junkies. So if you look at their Google Chrome browser, they've got like, all sorts of extensions loaded up in, in their browser. And they're constantly using these to do different things because not there wasn't one tool out there for a long time that didn't do that didn't do everything or it wasn't all encompassing is probably the phrase I'm looking for. And so the big thing here is we, we took all these individual tools that people were using, combined them into one tool that allows people to really source for that talent and find the information they need. And then to move that talent at the end of the day into uh, your system of record. Most people, for most people that's a CRM. For some people, you're still working off of spreadsheets. <laughs> and, um, and it's no surprise. I mean, I, I think it's always been that way. It's gonna continue to be that way in, in many cases. Um, and then other people, they put people directly into their applicant tracking system. Now, the way this works is uh, Zap Info and our big, you know, the big thrust of what we do and how we do it is, is pushing people or pulling people, I should say, from the web and pushing those folks either into your CRM or your ATS. And so it doesn't matter whether you're on a social network like LinkedIn or Facebook, a search engine like Google or Bing, any of the job boards, you, you pretty much name them, uh, we're connected to them, uh, even many, many global job boards uh, like Zing in, in, uh, in Europe, uh, Nakri out of uh, India. 
And then online directories, there's a lot of different online directories where you can pull people's information, things like GitHub, Stack Overflow, sites like that. Uh, and then there's sourcing tools like Hire Tool and Tello and Seekout. And there's many uh, or, um, sourcing tools like that that we uh, connect to. And our goal is to help you guys move data from the, the left side to the right side of your screen without having to do any sort of keying of data, copying and pasting of data, uh, anything like that. And if you think about Zap Info, we're, we're basically like a turbocharged clipboard, uh, but for recruiters. And we follow that recruiter around the web. So as the recruiters on the web finding candidate information, even if it's just a name in company name, uh, we'll grab that information for them. And or if it's a full profile that has, you know, 50 points of information on it with all their education, skills, experiences, we'll grab that information and transfer, report that information over to uh, their CRM system. And so we're going to walk you guys through uh, more details of this in, the, in a second. But these are some of the sites we're connected to. If you go to zapinfo.com, there's a lot more information on the site as far as the sites we're connected to, the systems we connect to. Uh, but these are just a few of the ones. Most likely, we cover 99% of what, uh, what you guys are using today. If there is a job board that you're using somewhere to source candidates from, and it's maybe it's not currently connected to Zap Info, let us know. We'll connect it for you. Um, and then lastly, or secondly, you know, besides grabbing the information, now it's delivering the information. So we're partnered with all the major CRMs. So pretty much any CRM that you're using uh, in recruitment, we're partnered with it. Pretty much every ATS that we're using, we can push data into the, that ATS. Most people go into the CRM. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. Um, some people do push into ATSs, but it's more often that, than not that people are pushing candidates into a CRM. And if you're a client that has a CRM and you have low adoption of that CRM, uh, by your, your team, it's most likely because they're having to key in the data themselves. You know, recruiters would rather have the candidate re key in their own data. And usually they do that in the ATS when they apply to a job. And so with the CRM, it's really put the onus on the recruiter to put that information in there. And so if you do have low adoption, just realize that the, you know, the recruiters are just trying to be efficient. They don't want to have to key in that data. But with Zap Info, with two clicks of a mouse, you can pull one click, you pull the data off the web, another click, you put it right into uh, your CRM. And you can do that for one candidate or for a thousand candidates at a time if you wanted to. So real quick, when we start to work with clients and they start to use Zap Info, generally their sourcing mix looks like on the left, right? Yeah, I, would, I think you guys would all nod your heads if I asked you if your recruiters all use LinkedIn. Uh, and if the majority of the time they spent their time sourcing from LinkedIn. Uh, and we see clients all the time that have other sources, they have other job boards, they have other directories that they could be pulling data from, but the, the, the recruiters just don't do it because, you know, A, it's easier to pull off of LinkedIn, B, they don't know how to search on those other sites. Um, and so with Zap Info, because we connect to all these other sites, and we have this, this Boolean search builder that allows people to do, uh, basically use a WYSIWYG editor, um, create the search once, and then that search is automatically tweaked and then ran on all these other sites. So they don't have to learn complex Boolean strings. They don't have to know how to adjust their searches for the different sites. The system does it automatically for you. So then when you start to do that and you start to be able to gr easily grab people using Zap Info, that's why you see a big change here from you know the left side to the right side as far as the diversity of, of, of mixes as far as where you're sourcing candidates. And again, this is all about making it easier for the recruiter because the, at the end of the day, we don't want recruiters keying data, you know, copy and pasting data. We want recruiters spending their time talking to candidates. And so uh, when you look at the process that uh, somebody can go through using Zap Info, there's a, basically a five step process. They can do, you know, they can skip around in these. Uh, but, um, you know, generally, you, when you think of a job rec, the first thing you need to do is you're going to go find candidates. Once you find the candidates, you're going to grab their information. We call it capture. Um, if you have some information, but you don't have a full profile on that person, then you're going to want to enhance it. You know, and a good example of this is, let's say I pulled somebody from Monster and their profile, their resume hasn't been updated in five years. Most likely their LinkedIn has. So if we took their Monster profile and their LinkedIn profile matched them up together, that would enhance it, give you a, a better look of who that candidate is. Engagement, we're going to show you some engagement. That's just basically once you've got the person and you want to send a quick message out to them saying, hey, we're interested in talking to you. Are you interested in talking to us? That's that's what we're talking about with engagement. But we're going to show you how you can do it very quickly and it can personalize those messages to those candidates. And then lastly, deliver. 
we're not a uh, system of record. We're really a conduit, if you will. So we want to put those 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 uh, people into your apps, right? So whether that's a CRM or ATS. So think of us as a companion tool uh, for, for those apps. So let's talk about, um, it's here, uh, good question. So question just came in. Do you need a paid license for the other sites? Uh, yes. Uh, so if uh, any site that requires paid access, you need your own paid access to it. Uh, and the way that we pull the information from those platforms is our system, we call it mapped. Right. So what we do is when we look at a resume on another site, we understand when we pull in the name, the title, company, all the work history, we know how to parse that into the fields within Zap Info. And so we call that a mapping exercise. It's a relatively easy exercise that we do. So whenever we add a new job board, it generally takes just a day or so to, to get that rigged up. Um, if you guys zoom in, I don't know if you can zoom on the screen, but what you'll see here is this is a Boolean search builder where you can input things like job titles. Uh, companies you want to target, companies you want to exclude. So if you're recruiting for your own company and you happen to be, let's say, Target, for example, you don't want Target employees showing up in your search results. You can put in locations, and that could be either uh, cities and states uh, or zip codes. And then you can put in keywords. And the keywords can be um, things like uh, skills, like Java, certifications, or even you know where they went to college or where they graduated from. So when you create this, there's 18 different sites we connect this to. And when you click the search button, it will tweak the Boolean so it runs correctly on each in one of those individual sites so you get the best results. Uh, you can see some examples of the sites on the right-hand side there, but uh, there's 18 total sites that we connect to. Um, and, um, and so the nice thing is you create this, you can create this search string once, you can save these search strings um, you can save the whole thing as one big search, or you can search, uh, save in each individual area. So if you've got a, you want to save your job titles and you want to save your uh, uh, locations you recruit in differently, so you can just come in and select, uh, okay, I want this job title, but this time I want it in this location, you can do that. Otherwise, if you say, I just want to do this whole big search in this location for these keywords and this titles, and I want to keep doing this over and over again, you can save the whole term set. So it makes it really just basically, you know, one click easy for you all to go out there and run these Boolean searches and to find it, especially for the other folks that are a little weaker on Boolean uh, search capabilities. Um, so this is how it works. I'm just gonna go ahead and sh run this uh, little this video here. But what you see here is somebody's on uh, LinkedIn. They found a number of folks uh, in a search result. They just go ahead and click the Zap Info button. It scrolls down the page, sees everybody, and it's kind of like they take a picture of the page and they can just grab these people, they can put them into a list. So much like on LinkedIn Recruiter, you can create projects and lists. You can do the same thing with Zap Info. And very quickly, you'll see that it pulled their information in in just a matter of seconds off of LinkedIn directly into Zap Info. And so you can see very quickly here now it's pulled in all their information and we've got them captured. And then from there, we can push them over to uh, our system of record. Now, if I've got these people and I want to send them a quick message, we find that recruiters oftentimes send the same messages over and over again. And what they're busy doing is typing in like first name, maybe putting the title and the company they work at. And that's, that's all information that's considered or, you know, caught with or captured within their profile. And so what Zap Info you can do, and you can see here in this little message box, you can see how it says, hi, first name. I saw you are a title at company, right? And then the rest of the message is your standard message that you send out. And so we will fill in those 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 uh, customized or those personalized areas for you. And then you can send messages out through your email client. So any message that gets sent gets sent through your email client. Could, if you want to message them through your Facebook or your LinkedIn or your Twitter, or even if you want to text them, you can do that. And so there's multiple ways that you can engage with these folks. And that engagement, by the way, will flow over into your CRM. So if you're uh, if you send a message to somebody, and you, you push them into uh, a CRM, the CRM will capture that this person's been pushed in and that you sent them a message on such and such date at such and such time, and this is what you sent. And if another recruiter grabbed that same candidate, let's say three months down the road, they would be able to see that somebody else within the organization already captured this person and already sent them a message. So rather than just go spamming them with a message, they would know to look in the CRM to see what's going on with that candidate. 
Now, once you have the people in Zap Info, you message them and get them interested. Now we want to push them over into our CRM or ATS, where you know we're going to keep the system of record and we're going to keep all the conversations. And so, Zap Info, you just click on the little Zap Out button. Now, you wouldn't see all these different ones here. You would see just your system, right? So, if you use Phenom people, you'd see that. If you use Telemetry, you'd see that. Or Beamery, uh, you wouldn't see all the rest. And then you would click on your system and it would pop open another dialogue. And uh, many systems allow you to attach people to either a job rack, put them into a list or a talent pipeline. Um, you can attach a tag to them. Um, so when you push these records over into your system, you're able to uh, find them. <clears throat> All right, perfect. I'm just checking the questions. Sorry about that, folks. Um, resume refresh. So imagine a lot of you are not only pipeline talent right now, but you're probably not, and, and you're, you're not spending a lot of time hiring uh, new people. Uh, but one of the best places I always like to tell people to go fishing is in your own pond. And so I'm gonna just play this little video of how this works. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a resume refresh. And if you look at this person here, it's a little small, but his, 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 tie, his <clears throat> last job experience ended in 2014. So it's been six years since his, his information has been updated. So what we're gonna do with Zap Info is we're gonna have Zap Info go travel out to LinkedIn, grab his updated profile and put it back into the ATS. <clears throat> so you can do this for one candidate at a time or you can do it for hundreds at a time if you wanted to. And so part of the resume refresh is to take these old profiles and update them so you guys have fresh, you know, fresh uh, talents in your database. It may be talent that's been in there you know, for a while, but why not put, you know, if you refresh it, it's fresh talent. And you know, there's probably a lot of, you know, hidden gems sitting in your own database that you guys could be marketing to or recruiting um, that are very well qualified for the position today. They just weren't qualified in the past. And so you can see with this example, I just went ahead and grabbed this new updated information and it went and grabbed it uh, from LinkedIn and then it populates it right back into the applicant tracking system. Uh, in this case, and it could be the CRM as well. In this case, uh, this is Smart Recruiters. This is the system I was doing it within, but this works within uh, nearly every ATS and, and it does work within their, every CRM. And so it's a great way for you guys to go in there and take old profiles, update them and refresh them. A lot of recruiters would love this feature. A lot of them wanna do this. Some do it part uh, time to time. But the thing is, is when you find an old profile, now you have to go out on the web, you have to find the new profile, update it. It takes a lot of work. The other thing too, we got, I got about two minutes left here, so I'm gonna kind of go th quickly through this. What you're seeing here is Zap Info, we just launched this Zap Match, where we're gonna match up the candidate's skills against the skills of the job. So it's a keyword match. No, there's no AI or fancy machine learning, it's simple keyword match. And this will tell us how well a candidate is ranked against the job. And if you do happen to uh, look at the candidate, he's only a 60% match, but you have a conversation with him. He's like, oh, by the way, I do have Angular and JS and uh, one other skill. You can go ahead and click on it, update his profile. And now when you push this into your CRM, you'll see that this person's an 80% match. Now, I love all that, but what's better is data. And so what you see on the left-hand side of your screen is we're on grabbing people from where they those people reside you know minnesota a lot of people in california you can see the different uh areas uh, industries they're in you can see the the uh, different uh sites that i grabbed them from um this is another example of the 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 pie chart on the right hand side more in data format uh here we see how many people this client was grabbing on a monthly basis obviously with march <laughs> april may went down because we weren't actively hiring as much um, you can see the competitors. So these are the competitors this person's pulling people from. Um, and then lastly, um, I know we're coming in for a landing here. This is super affordable. I mean, it's less than a cup of coffee a day. And um, if you're an individual person that wants to get started, just go click get started, swipe your credit card and pick basic uh, uh, premium or power. If you're a sorcerer and do high volume, I would pick power. Um, and if you go to our website, you'll see the more details and the, exactly what you get with the pricing. Um, now, if any of you on the call wants to give it a try, we'll send out these slides and um, there'll be a link here that you see on the screen where it'll give you a five day free trial to the full power license. And, um, and if for some reason you don't get the slides, you know, feel free to email me. Here's my email. Um, Feel free to email me and I'll send you the link uh, to, to sign up. 
And um, I'm going to check. I know we're coming right up to our virtual happy hour, or I guess expo hours. <laughs> I like to call it the virtual happy hour. But uh, I think Doug was in the chat room. I answered a lot of people's questions. So that's good. Elizabeth, did you want to make any announcements before we jump off? I here? did, but I will just say fantastic. I just sat in on the whole thing. I loved uh, fishing in your own pond, an incredible uh, metaphor that I just posted in my internal Slack channel, being like, hey, how great is this? Uh, but thank you guys so much for attending this session. Um, just really quickly, as Tom already mentioned, um, the expo hall is opening right now as of a minute ago. Um, so you can just click on the expo button on the navigation bar on the left, um, and you can speak directly with um, anyone at those expo sessions uh, and learn more about some amazing technologies. Uh, and I believe Tom, you'll be there with Zap Info uh, in the expo hall, and you can share your audio and video at the booth, kind of like we're doing now to have a real conversation as opposed to just talking in the chat box. Uh, and plus, there are some fun other booths there to give you a break. We have a puppy cake a relaxation room and an at-home workout uh, session. So it should be a really great time. I, I'm excited about the pup camp. <laughs> <laughs> me too, that's where I'm headed right now. <laughs> Will the puppies bring me a white cloth? <laughs> exactly, I mean, who's who's to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Wade and Wendy. Thank you, everybody that organized this recruiting automation conference. And thank you, everybody, for attending. I appreciate it. Thank you.